What's the haps, everybody? We're gonna go do an update on this storm. It's coming down pretty good. We're gonna check out the other side of town. As you're checking out this new shirt, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. It's me riding the bear as a cartoon, holding my camera phone like I always do in my left hand. Anyways, let's go get the rest of this storm. Peace, love you guys. What is happening, everybody? It's November 15th, 2023. Hope you uh, enjoy the new merchandise that's gonna be coming out, the first snowflake. Worst case scenario though, guys. Worst case, because we wanted everyone to be able to have a chance to order stuff to, to get it by Christmas time. If we don't get a snowflake out of this storm, and if we don't get anything by Thanksgiving, we're gonna have to launch anyway. So I hope none of you are disappointed. The goal has been to launch when we get the uh, the first snowflake, but I want to make sure that you guys have the opportunity to get Christmas gifts and stuff like that. So keep your fingers crossed that we do get some snow so we can launch. You are going to love the video. I'm telling you right now, it's a short little promo, but it's so unbelievably awesome. You guys are going to be very proud of me, especially those of you who have been here for a long time. So get ready for that. But anyway, right now it's about uh, I don't know, it says 51 degrees, but I guarantee you it's not. It's I just started the car, so it's gotta be about 45 degrees in beautiful Big Bear Lake right now. We're about to enter Big Bear City, and we're gonna drive through Big Bear City to Baldwin, and through Baldwin to the back where Highway 18 uh, just about starts going down the mountain into Lucerne Valley and the desert areas. So that's where we're headed right now. Anyway, hope you guys are having a great evening. Thank you guys for the continued support. I can never thank you enough. I love you guys with all my heart. And this has been a real, real joy to do this for this many years. This is my ninth year doing this. Ninth year. This is just unbelievable. So thanks again, guys. I never imagined we would get to where we're at right now. Um, it's not that, that many subscribers, but it's literally about 21,000 more subscribers than I ever thought I would have. I thought maybe at the max we would hit like 100 subscribers. <laughs> Seriously, I never imagined it would be something incredible like this. And most of all, I never imagined that there would be such incredible people in my life through this channel. Um, my best friends in my life right now are through this channel. I've met a lot of you, I've spent some time with a lot of you, and uh, literally my best friends are you guys. So I'm very, very, very thankful that I have you guys in my life and uh, I'll always be here for you all. Anything you guys ever need, anything, just don't hesitate to ask any questions you have. I'm always gonna be here to make sure I can give you the best chance to have a great experience while you're up here. Um, I love Big Bear a lot. I'm from Newport Beach and I would, I, I don't wanna move back down the mountain for any reason. So um, I'm hoping someday I can make a career out of this YouTube channel, which is something I never thought would have been possible. It never even popped into my head until about a year and a half ago that, huh, maybe I do have something here. So hopefully you guys will like and subscribe and help me out. I work really hard on this stuff. I put myself in dangerous situations driving all the time. Um, it would, it would, I'd be extremely, extremely pleased and very blessed if you guys would just take that quick second out of your day to hit the like button, leave me comments, and just help the engagement. It, it helps YouTube's algorithm to push this video further um, and push all the videos further. So help me out, guys. I'd really appreciate that. And let's get back to what we're supposed to be doing here, which is recording the weather. So right now we're on Big Bear Boulevard, which we just entered Big Bear City right now. And as I said, we're gonna be going to the very other end of town. Earlier today for the first video of the storm, we went all the way to the dam. But thankfully, right where I live, you guys, it takes 15 minutes to get to the dam. And then if I turn the other direction on Big Bear Boulevard, it takes 15 minutes to get to where we're going now. So I'm centrally located. It makes things a lot easier for me um, so I can capture what I need to capture in a timely fashion. Another cool thing is that uh, for the winter videos, those of you who've been watching for a while, you'll notice that I like to record as much of the town as possible because a lot of you have Airbnb properties and, and rental properties that you've worked your butts off to acquire in different parts of this town. And believe it or not, through the eight mile length of the valley, there is a humongous discrepancy in the amount of snow you will receive from one end of town to the other. It's a huge discrepancy. So I like you guys to be able to see with your own eyes what 
it looks like near your cabin and on the way to your cabin just to give you that sense of just uh, um, you know just just more peace of mind um, if you're considering driving up here to know what to expect it's really important for me to do that for you guys um, again thanks again to all of you homeowners up here all of you investment property owners I, I have a lot of respect for you hopefully someday I'll be able to to own property and rent the property out and and just live that 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 wonderful lifestyle I you know I'm I'm, I'm so proud to know so many of you who have but who have risked a lot in your life to give yourselves a great opportunity out there. So keep up the good work, you guys. I look up to a lot of you tremendously. And boy, I use that word tremendously a lot, don't I? It's pretty tremendous. But anyway, we're going through Dead Man's Curve right now. I have no idea how cars don't, in the wintertime, slide off the edge and fall into houses on that other side. It's just... It's shocking to me that it just never really happens. Thankfully, it never really happens, but it's amazing because when you come driving on it and see, if you make one little mistake, your 35 mile per hour speed limit will send you over that edge. So it's it's just, it's amazing that that doesn't happen often and I am so happy that it does not happen. I was just bringing it up because it's odd. In a part of town where you think you would see a lot more accidents, you really don't. Yeah, we're in Big Bear City. The zip code is 92314. Man, you guys, I, I'm, I love being here with you guys. I love doing this. When I hit the record button, it feels like you all are sitting right here next to me. It is such an amazing feeling. I love you guys so much. Like, this, I try to respond to every single comment too. Sometimes I do miss comments, but it's because I don't get notified about them. But I'll also, at like at the end of each day, I'll go through the comment section to make sure that I didn't miss anything because as I said, sometimes I don't get all the notifications and I don't want anyone to think that I would ever ignore you. This channel is about you guys. You guys make this channel awesome. So thanks again for all the love. You, you guys show me a lot of support and I, I promise you guys all the time, I'll never let you down. I'll continue being me and continue doing the best I can and working my butt off for you guys so you can have the best time up here. I want you guys to enjoy your stay up here. And as I always mention, we need you guys coming up here. Don't forget, without you guys coming up here, people like me don't get to live here. My regular business that I've been running for six years, um, I wouldn't have any business if it wasn't for the tourists. Of course, I serve a lot of locals, sure. But the thing is, is most of these locals like myself would not be living here if it wasn't for you guys coming up here creating our economy. You guys are the ones who allow the jobs to be created up here because you create the economy. And I am indebted to each and every single one of you for the rest of the time that I'm living here because I love living here and I have a much better life here. I've turned into quite the hermit living up here, but it's a great, great place. I used to be the life of the party and now I don't even like going to the party. I just like hanging out with my wife and just um, working all the time. That's all she and I do. She, she owns an Airbnb cleaning company also. So she's got her own business, I have my own business. We both work ridiculous hours every single week. Um, but I'm very, very proud that we do earn our take every day. We've sacrificed an awful lot to be able to run our own businesses. I'm telling you guys, it's freedom, but it's a lot more responsibility, but it's freedom. And if I can do it, you guys, trust me, every single person on this channel can. Anyway, we're getting some really good rain out here in Big Bear City. It's really coming down. It's 49 degrees now. I hope it's not too hard to see out of our windshield here. I'm sorry about that, you guys. Once we get into Baldwin, it's gonna get darker, so it's gonna be a lot easier for y'all to see.
I can't believe, so my clock is still an hour fast because I'm extremely lazy and forgetful. So it's only 10 to six right now. It feels like it's midnight. You guys wanna hear something crazy? Especially during the winter time, literally in between my job when I'm, I'm driving around constantly to do my job, I'm responding to comments. And don't worry, it's not like I'm not watching the road. I do voice responding. But that's all I do all day long besides my, my, uh, my regular business is responding to comments all day long, you guys. And I love it. I love it. My concern is down the road, if this channel keeps on growing, there's gonna become a point where I'm not gonna be able to respond to every comment because there won't be enough time in the day. Literally, like that's eventually a possibility. And I, and I sure hope that we get to that point where this channel grows like that because I put so much effort into it, you guys. And I've been very, very humble. Um, I'm full of humility. I just want you guys to learn from me, potentially learn from a lot of the mistakes that I've made in life. Any of you struggling from alcoholism or, or anything like that, please feel free to contact me privately and I'll talk to you and go through my whole story with you and try to share anything I can that can help. Because that kept me down for years, you guys. It destroyed my life. I've been through nine rehab centers and two sober living houses. And finally, I can say that I'm over 10 years clean from alcohol, but I don't want to see you guys suffer. Please use me to help you out. There's no greater gift in life than being able to help someone overcome something. It was done for me, and I will freely give it away to any of you that, that need that help. I love you guys. You guys are my brothers and sisters, so please, please use me as much as you can to better your lives. And I promise you, I will be there for you. Okay, we are in Baldwin Lake now. We're on a road called Shea Road. Big Bear Boulevard, if you stay straight like we just did instead of turning on Highway 8 or Highway 38, it turns into Shea Road. And if you take this all the way to the end like we are doing, it'll drop you off at Highway 18, almost to the part where you start driving down the mountain towards the desert. I get a lot of questions about what's the easiest route up here. What's the safest route up here? So if you have the option, you guys, if you have the option, I always suggest taking this route, which we're about to go meet up with right now, Highway 18 on the backside through Lucerne Valley, through the desert. That's the best, safest route. But if you don't have that option, if you're on the other side of the mountain range, I send my 81-year-old beautiful mom up Highway 38. Even though it's a few miles longer and you hit higher elevations, for me and my experience, it's a little bit safer than taking Highway 330 or Highway 18 all the way up um, when we have snow and ice. So as I said, Highway 38 is gonna be your best bet coming from the front. Wow, it's really coming down. It's 48 degrees now. And remember, when you're driving up here, it's super, super important that you don't get uptight about people right on your butt. It's really important that you don't. Um, I always suggest that even if you have to pull out 25 times to let people pass, please do that. If you're anything like me, you don't want to be that guy holding people up. And so you might do something a little dangerous and cause yourself a lot more problems like me, which is if someone's on my tail, I'll usually speed up to appease them. But in the icy, snowy conditions, if you do that, that could be the end. You do not want to do that. You do not want to um, appease these people in any other way than pulling aside and letting them by. I promise you it's not a race to get up here. Don't feel bad or embarrassed if you have to pull out.
because you'll that's just like me. I, I don't want to be that guy who holds people up. So just please use every turnout that you can to let all the faster traffic pass to keep you safe. Because you are going to get some very impatient drivers coming up the mountain, guys, and going down. So just please be prepared for that. I don't want to see any issues. I don't want to see you guys have any issues. I want you to be up here safe and sound so you can truly enjoy your time and enjoy your vacation. And then once you get here, don't hesitate to contact me if you have any questions about anything. I want to make sure that I can uh, be of service in the most and best way as possible. I've dedicated my life and my time for the most part to this channel and to you guys because I've fallen in love with every single person on this channel. You guys aren't just my friends, you're my brothers and sisters. And as I said, I have fallen in love with every single person on this channel. I want to be there for you all, I want to help you all. And gosh darn it, I'm going to. All right, so this part of town in Baldwin is the windiest part of the valley. They get a lot of power outages over here in the summertime, especially because of lots of wind. But this part of town hardly gets any snow compared to where I live and even further towards the dam. Huge difference. I would say right about here where we're passing right now, you get the least amount of snow in the entire Big Bear Valley. Wait till you see when I do our videos driving from the dam all the way over here when we have snow. And I refer to it as the Big Bear Snow Rule, which basically means that every time we get a storm, you're always gonna have significantly less snow over here than you will over by the dam, every time. I don't think I've ever recorded in all 3,300 videos any time that this part of town had more snow than where the Big Bear Dam is located. Never. And it's only eight miles as the crow flies. Maybe seven miles. Right now we're on Baldwin Road. Baldwin Lake Road, I believe, or just Baldwin. I think it's Baldwin Lake. And as I said, this is gonna drop off onto Highway 18. You can make a left or a right. If you make a right, you head up a little tiny hill and then you start heading down the mountain. We are not doing that today. Oh, it's so beautiful over here right now. If this was snow, guys, we'd be getting hammered right now. So I'm a bit disappointed, but I'm hopeful that we're gonna have a very good winter. It's still not winter yet, not till December 21st. But for those of you who want to know when the snowiest times are in this town, technically February and March are the first and second snowiest months of the year on record, but since I've lived here, January has been by far the snowiest month. Just a heads up for you guys. Okay, we are way out here now, coming up to Highway 18 to head back towards the town. We're gonna take North Shore, AKA Highway 18 from this point all the way back. And this Highway 18, by the way, is going to change into Highway 38 without much signage. You have to be paying attention big time because, uh, yes, this road we're coming up to at the cross right here, this turns into Highway 38 in a little bit. So here we go. take this all the way to Stanfield Cutoff. And I know I've been talking a lot, but I love you guys and it's, for some reason, whenever I have you guys with me, I start talking a lot. 
you guys wouldn't believe it, but normally in regular life, I am a quiet person. Nothing like I am on the channel. messages I need to check but we're gonna hold off obviously because it's dangerous to check your messages while driving okay this little sharp turn and look this light right here is like in the middle of nowhere there's not another street light like that for a long time it's just sits there in the middle of nowhere all right so here we go to the left is Baldwin Lake Oh, that's cool. That is awesome. One of my good friends from the Middle East just texted me. He's a good dude, man. He's a good dude. He's over there right now. He texted me on WhatsApp, which is pretty cool. slow down the windshield wipers for a moment here. I agree with you. I'm just thinking but I think we could do that. Tomorrow morning or afternoon would be when I do it. So let me just see what the forecast looks like when I wake up tomorrow. Because if the snow is back in line for possibly Friday night or Saturday night, then we'll do the launch for the website and the merchandise then. You guys, I really am asking for your, your support. Um, I don't know if we're gonna have to launch the website and the merchandise line um, actually in a couple days or maybe even tomorrow. Um, because we might not get any snow in time for you guys to purchase your stuff for Christmas. And I do not want that to happen for you guys. I want you guys to be able to have some cool, comfortable, big bear weather and more Christmas gifts. So I know we've been talking about launching the website when we get the first snowflakes, the first snowfall. And we did the most awesome commercial slash promo for the for the launch you guys you guys are going to be so proud of me like you guys are going to be beyond proud of me i can't wait for you guys to see it but we might have to launch it sooner and do some adjustments in that video if we don't get the snow so my friend ben brissy of bensweather.com told me he's confident that we still could get a couple snowflakes at resort level maybe friday night or saturday night so we shall see he told me that earlier today, but I'm, I'm not seeing anything on, on the radar, but Ben's the man, he's a meteorologist, he's been doing this for years, I completely trust what he says, I know he would never steer me wrong, the guy is such a good guy. If you guys want to see our daily forecasts and stuff like that, you must go to bensweather.com, B-E-N-S-W-E-A-T-H-E-R.com. That's the local Big Bear forecast. It's, 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 he's amazing. He's just a wonderful human being and I love him to death. He be, he, he's a fan of this channel, which is super cool. Last year he sent me a $50 cash app donation to tell me to keep up the good work. And uh, yeah, he's a huge fan. And to have someone of his stature like what I do, uh, someone that I really look up to, it just blew my mind. It actually brought me to slight tears because I just couldn't believe it. I'm a very emotional guy, like, uh, like, but that was such such a, a, a beautiful moment for me. And, and we text each other all the time now. Like, it, it's just so cool. He gives me the inside information and stuff like that, like, uh, and what he what he thinks is going to happen before he, he even posts it on on his website sometimes it's really cool but go to bensweather.com 
you'll be very pleased with the accuracy of his forecasts. But yeah, back to what I was saying about the launching. If, if we don't get any snow, then the latest we're probably gonna launch is, is Thanksgiving. And I'm bummed out because when it snows, we get a lot more views and, 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 and I wanted a lot of my hardcore friends on this channel to actually see this particular launch video because it's so awesome. Professionally produced and everything, it's so amazing. But it is what it is. I just ask you guys for your support to at least check out that part of the video when I do the official launch. Okay, we are, I think we just, I think we are on Highway 38 now. You guys see see how that happened we just passed Greenway Street and we were on highway 18 but then once we cross over Greenway this turns into highway 38 so now this is highway 38 all the way to the Big Bear Dam and then it'll switch back to highway 18 once you get to the dam it's very interesting how it works to the to the south shore I think you have four different roads that you can switch from south to north shore one of the first one is Stanfield cutoff the next one we just passed with it which is called division the one after that is Greenway and then paradise those are your only way from north to south shore myself big time there it's unfortunate okay we're on Stanfield cutoff now you guys I'm gonna roll down the windows so I can kind of try and show you outside even though you're not gonna be able to see over here is the lake you're not gonna be able to see it actually you can a little bit that's pretty cool And then this side is beautiful as well, full of water as well. It's awesome. It smells so good outside, you guys. But anyway, I think we're gonna be good at this. 
this point, we're going to stop at Stater Brothers where the video is going to end. But yeah, guys, if we get any more changes in our in this storm overnight, if it really picks up or happens to change to snow or anything like that, of course, I'm going to be out there doing another video. So uh, worst case, we'll, we'll, we'll probably be, be doing something tomorrow, tomorrow morning. Um, but in the meantime, I hope you guys have a great evening. And but once again, I can't thank you enough for all the love and support that you guys show me. I work really hard at this, so thank you guys for always being there for me. I mean, so many of you are so good to me always, and all I try to do is just help people and be the best me that I can and be a good example for others, you know? So thank you, and uh, I love you. <laughs> so please, like and subscribe, and help a brother out. And uh, yeah, I'll be talking to you guys soon. Here we are at Stater Bros. Stater Brothers. And uh, yeah, like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate. Leave me comments. But as I said earlier, I try to respond to every comment and usually I'm successful at doing that. So leave me the comments and uh, Big Bear Weather and more out. I love you guys. Fingers crossed for snow and watch the launch video. It's not gonna be by itself. It's gonna be integrated inside of another video. It's gonna be the launch clip inside of the video hopefully when we get a snowflake it doesn't even have to be more than a snowflake for me to launch it but it's important and uh that's something i i want to hear a lot of your comments about and your responses because it means a lot to me thanks guys year number nine is off to a rainy bang talk to you guys later bye